get more business and get found. So I was having a conversation with a potential member, and they were really set on being found inside of Apple Maps. Now, it's a big challenge for a lot of businesses, especially service area businesses, to get found on Apple Maps, Bing Maps, Google Maps, and all the different map networks out there, including GPS. Um, and there's a misconception that there is you have to be inside of Maps to be found. So let me walk you through what happened with this customer or this potential member to be able to join. Uh, for one, they were looking at uh, coming in. Um, they want to be found on maps. Their service area of business. They are specifically in this area. They do a 40-mile radius out, and that is what they wanted. But they're like, I'm not being found on Apple Maps. I'm not being found on Google Maps or Bing Maps. I said, okay, um, what kind of business are you? They were plumber. Okay, great. What what do you work out of? Work out of my house. Do you care if your house address is published? No, don't care about that. And I said, okay, great. And he goes, what does that matter? I said, because if you want to hide the address, it's going to change on how you are out on each of the different networks. And the reason why it's going to change is because you are going to be true service area. Everybody knows that nobody's going to go visit their plumber unless they sell supplies at their home. They're just not going to do it. They're not going to maps to be able to make that search. They are not going to maps to say, hey, find me this local place. What you care about in that service area of business, and, and I asked him this, I said, do you, what do you care about? Do you care about people coming to your location? No. And I said, well, the maps don't matter. Take maps out of the equation. If you're a service area of business, if you're any of that, take it out of the take it out of the equation. Just delete it. So what you can do is you can put your home address in. It's going to be visible. Uh, you know, publicly visible, or you can choose to hide that out. Um, it's going to depend on how many networks you want to go to. The next, the next thing that's going to happen is it's going to know your service area. You're not going to rank inside of maps if you're a plumber because nobody's looking for a plumber to drive to you. If you're a restaurant, it's a whole different game. If you sell uh, plumbing supplies, that's a whole different game. If you're a chiropractor, whole different game. You have a physical location. Someone's coming to you. Unless you're a chiropractor, where the, your service area. Um, I, I've got several members that are do that, but it's one of those things to where you don't care about being inside of maps. What you care about is being found on Apple, um, or on Siri. You care about being found on all the voice search networks and Google assistant. You care about when someone searches you inside of Google, that you come up inside of the city you're in. This falls into service areas. This falls into a whole different category than just maps. Yes, you want to be on maps. Yes, you got maps or control everything. You have Google Business Profile that has maps. You have Bing Places that has maps. You have Apple Business Connect. You have all these places that do have those portals that have maps connected to them. It's a big piece of it, but the service area businesses, don't you don't really care about showing up when someone's driving to come to your location. Um, because chances of someone coming and visiting your shop are slim to none. What you care about is you care about being found when someone does a search and for you to come up. No matter what device they're using, no matter if it's voice search, if it is a desktop search, if they're looking for it on their TV, all you care about is that more people are finding your business, you're getting more leads, and you're getting more sales. So that's what you care about. So how you solve that and how we solved it for this member is they're going to log in. They're going to fill a one-page form. They're going to onboard in. They're going to provide their logo, their address, all the details, their business hours, all those pieces inside of that form, their keywords, their services they offer. We're going to build out that profile. Then we're going to blast that profile out to all the networks we work with, which is over 500 networks. Doesn't mean you're going to be on 500 because it depends on the terms and conditions for each of those and if your profile matches. So what your, your marketing coach is going to do before that gets sent out, they're going to review that, pro, that whole entire profile, make sure they're not catching anything. We also monitor a ton of our profiles every single month and we spot check and we say, okay, is there any tweaks? Is there anything we need to be looking at? We're looking for updates, seeing why people are declining, seeing 
what they can do. And if you're not getting the results you're looking for, we want that phone call. So we'll pull it up and we'll look at it from an analytical standpoint. And we look at that from a data science piece to be able to figure out why you're not being found, what's causing those things to happen, and how we can be able to tweak that to be able to get you found by more local customers. So that was a conversation about maps and how everything kind of works across. I really appreciate you watching. And it's one of those things to where if you have questions like this, we want to hear them. Uh, come check us out, simplyfound.com. Get more business and get found.